Hey everybody, it's Benny One, and I'm back doing movie reviews on my new channel. This is going to be my first movie review on this new channel of mine. Um, I'm picking right up where I left off on my Benny One Kenobi channel. I My last review on that channel was Predator, the first Predator, the Arnold Schwarzenegger, get to the chopper! That was my last review on that channel, so picking right up where I left off. We're going to be reviewing Predator 2. The 1990 film that sees the Predator returning to Earth to stake a claim on a war-torn dystopian Los Angeles, everybody. That is right. Sorry about my cat in the background. This movie is directed by Stephen Hopkins, everybody. That's right. And we have a new cast in this movie, except for Kevin Peter Hall, who returns to play the Predator, everyone. I do think the people behind the mask need to be mentioned in these movie reviews because even though you don't see their face and they don't really speak they still have a big role to play when they're playing the big bad monster in a movie danny glover is our big new star in the movie everybody he plays lieutenant harrigan everyone and he's he does really good he he's an basically the movie came out in 90 but he's an 80s action cop basically I, he does great in the movie. It's it's Danny Glover. I mean, his ba he's basically playing a char his lethal weapon character in a Predator movie, I guess the way I took it. So, Gary Busey is in this movie. He plays Peter um, Keyes. He's a dick federal agent guy. I, it's crazy. I forgot that Gary Busey was in this movie when I watched it. There. I was like, whoa. And then um, Ruben Blades plays Danny. He's... Um, uh, Danny Glover's character's partner in the movie. And then we also have Bill Paxton is in this movie, you guys, as Jerry. I totally forgot that Bill Paxton was in this movie. Man, he was in Predator 2. He was in Aliens. Bill, pa I forgot how many movies Bill Paxton was in in his early acting career. It's crazy to me. So, so yeah, guys, I mean, this movie is pretty... It, it was a pretty good Predator movie. The thing I liked about this movie was that they, they took it to a completely different location. We went to Los Angeles this time, and it's like a war-torn Los Angeles. It's not your regular Los Angeles, but I like the new setting, the new location. I really appreciate what they did with that. I like that they didn't try and rehash and remake the first Predator movie. I like that they took chances and tried to do something different with it. I I can totally respect a movie like that. So, and there's the movie's loaded with a bunch of great action, bunch of great action you guys, and you get all the Predator action that you want. They build on the, the mythology of the Predator in this movie also. We learn more about them and what why they are hunting. They're hunters. They're, they're basically hunters. So, And they really they, they explore that more in this movie, especially towards the end of the movie. And I think it's really cool. Like, it's just really cool. So, And the movie is very watchable. It's, it's not a horrible movie, but... I do have issues with the movie. The movie for me, it feels kind of like a rehash of a bunch of 80s cop movies. Like, it just does. It, the first, like, I don't know, the first, like, 30, 40 minutes of the movie, I just kind of felt like they were trying to mimic the suspense building of the first one where the predator is stalking everybody but you don't and you only see through the predator when he's watching the infrared and they're that but nobody can see the predator and they're trying to build that suspense in this movie but they never can quite capture that suspense that was built in the first movie in the jungle it just it just doesn't quite it doesn't do it in this one um, and like I said, it they it really just feels like your generic rehash of an 80s cop movie. It it just does. I mean, the third act of the movie I found very entertaining. Like when it got to the last like 30 minutes of the movie, I was actually like fully engaged and I was just like, yeah, this is like this is what I remember from this movie when I watched it years ago, but I honestly, the first half of the movie, I wasn't a huge fan of, 
Um, but but overall, it's a decent movie, very watchable. It's loaded with action. Um, so I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10, guys. So yeah, guys, that was my review for Predator 2, everybody. 7 out of 10. And I'll be catching you on the tube later because I have spoken.